When discussing Bona building on Shabbos, a very relevant question, especially for those with little children at home, is, is one allowed to play with Legos and blocks and the like on Shabbos? We know that there's a halacha, that although one may not fasten a door to a home, one may not build a permanent door and attach the hinges uh, because of the problem of Bona, uh, nonetheless, the halacha is that one is allowed to use the door to go in and out and open and close the door accordingly, even locking it, etc., cetera, um, because that is what we refer to as derech tashmisho, the normal mode of use. And therefore, that's not considered building, but simply using the item in its proper manner. That is why one may use a door, and that is why many say one may use blocks and Legos as well on Shabbos, since the Legos are created for this purpose. They are meant to be done and undone, attached and detached, and they're not necessarily meant to last for a long time. That is considered Derek Tashmisha, that is considered its normal mode of use. And therefore, in particular, especially for children to play with on Shabbos, many are lenient. That is the opinion of Rosh Hashanah Zalman Orbach, Rav, Rav Waldenberg, the Tzitz Eliezer, um, and Rav Belsky was similarly lenient since they went as long as they are, for any, to- any toys which are not fastened together permanently, which are not screwed together uh, in, a, in a tight way, but rather simply stuck to another and can easily be removed, says Rebelsky also that, that that one can be lenient and use those on Shabbos. Now, Rebbe Vadio Yosef was also lenient as, in regards to children playing with Legos on Shabbos in both Yechav Adas and Yabi Omer, but nonetheless does recommend that adults not take part of it. Now, this is all assuming that they're being used as a toy to simply pay, play with and detach and maybe lay, make little structures and detach them on Shabbos. However, when if one is particularly talented, and wants to build an impressive structure that is meant to be kept for a long time. So that is something which would be miskayim, and therefore many would discourage doing that on Shabbos um, because of bona, that, that may be a violation, that may be a problem if it is meant to, uh, to last for a long time as an impressive structure. It is important to note that in addition to the question of bona coming up, Rav Pesach Leo Falk and his uh, Max Elio brings up two additional issues. Number one, related to Bona, that if the ch- if we just simply let the children play, they may build a structure with a roof, which may cause an, uh, an OL to be built, a sort of tent. Again, not everyone, uh, most seem to not hold like this, but that is an interesting opinion to be aware of. Additionally, he's concerned for the potential of it being co-save writing, which we already spoke about, um, because creating a structure is similar to sculpting an image, which would be problematic. So those are two additional concerns that the Machaz Elio brings up. Uh, however, the mainstream opinion is that for children especially, it seems to be okay. It's not a problem of bona because it's their tashmisho, it's a normal mode of use in playing. Uh, however, to create a particularly impressive, long-lasting structure, uh, especially by adults, should be something that one would avoid doing on Shabbos. Have a great day.